What's up YouTube, Tyler Secrets here. Welcome to the Weekly Tea. This week's episode is gonna be a monthly market update for February of 2022. Welcome to the Weekly Tea. Look, I'm not gonna be everybody's cup of tea, and I'm cool with that. All right, what's up guys? Tyler Seacrest here. This week's episode is gonna be a monthly market update February at the end of February of 2022. We'll go ahead and put that up on the screen right here so you guys can see it. We're just gonna hop into it. Again, I'm gonna go over just last month's data, kind of give my two cents on what I'm seeing happen currently, and then we're going to compare it to last year's, which we'll put up here. And then we'll talk about, you know, we'll compare those two. I'll elaborate a little bit further and yeah, we'll kind of get into it. So first up, the average sale price currently, today is March 1st to give you context, but as, as of the end of February, which was yesterday, the current average sale price, what things are actually closing for, they're selling for, $239,996. So maybe we can go ahead and say 240K. The total inventory of homes for sale right now, there are 161 single family properties for sale in Allen County right now. Uh, the average day on market, we're at 29 days. And then today's current interest rates, um, four and a quarter to 5%. Kind of give my two cents on everything. Yeah, that makes sense. That's kind of around based on everything that I'm seeing as far as the average sale price. Inventory of homes for sale doesn't surprise me. There's still nothing on the market. We still need housing. We need housing. We need housing. We need housing. I'm going to sound like a broken record. Um, the I, I do want to talk a little bit more about the interest rates, though. I'd like to flash. Let's flash back and key in my projection. We did an end of year. We did an end of year cap or review of 2000, 2021, where I projected that we would see rates increase. Guess what? Rates are up damn near one to 2% from when I made that prediction. And you can hear me talk about it right now. I also think interest rates are going to increase though. I've been hearing from my lenders that the Fed, they're anticipating the Fed to increase rates. There's already talks of that. They've kind of been going up recently you used to be able to get you know three three and a half um, i think they're going to creep up to three and a quarter three seven five quarter one in 2022 so that's something to be mindful of i think the fed it, they're increasing rates because they're trying to at least i think they're trying to stop this madness or or help but it's doing the opposite all it's doing is it's continuing to price people out. In my opinion, what we actually need is housing. We need people, we need to incentivize them to sell their properties. We need to incentivize builders and developers to get more product you know, on the market um, you know, at a price people can afford. So yeah, that's my two cents. We'll compare it back to last year. We'll put that up right here as I go through this. The average sale price in February 2021 was 147,000. I remember it was kind of slow at that point. People were just now opening back up like post COVID and were getting comfortable with getting back to their initial plans. There wasn't a lot of, there was a lot of activity for those who were like really in it. Um, but people were really holding back and um, things of that nature. And there just weren't very strong sale prices at that time. Inventory of homes for sale at that time were 167 properties pretty comparable to now. I've, like I said, I sound like a broken record. I'm sure we can find a clip, me in the past, talking about um, inventory kind of being low and staying, you know, kind of where they're at. Demand's super high, inventory's extremely low. That equates to about a week or two worth of supply. The average day on market a year prior was about 30 days. That's about spot on to where it is now. And then Interest rates back then were about three to three and a half percent, which is almost a point lower than you know where we're at right now. So I think those numbers are super interesting. The big one that catches my eye is obviously the difference in the average sale price. This month we were up nine percent from last month. Last year we were down about thirteen and a half percent from the month prior. So that's super interesting. The inventory of homes for sale last year compared to this year doesn't really surprise me. Um, I was hoping we would see more inventory but I, guys, I just don't see it happening, which is really unfortunate. Still a great time to buy though, because that means, you know, there's still some appreciation to be seen that's going to occur because obviously 
the more supply that we get, that's kind of when you'll see things cool off. But with inventory being this low and demand being this high, we're going to continue to see pricing, you know, increase. Average day on market from last year compared to this year, it's pretty consistent. We're seeing it be that low for the reasons I've already discussed. And then the interest rates, you know, that's that's really the big one. Personally, in my opinion, I don't think these rates are going to stick. They just they just can't. I just I think it's outpricing a big group of buyers that just can't be outpriced. And I think that was a huge mistake by the Fed. So I, I hope that doesn't stick. I don't think it'll stick. So keep an eye on that. Aside from that, that's going to conclude this month's monthly market update. Like always, if you made it this far, I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel and watching. And I know some of these market updates may get a little bit of dry, may get a little dry, but I think it's super important to just understand what's going on in the market and how it can affect you. You know, whether you're uh, looking to buy, sell, build, it can only help you. So. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like the video. We'll see you guys next week.